Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is your Khan Baba. I hope you are doing well. God will give you more happiness for you all. I try to my level best to give you latest update about China president visit to US. So without any further delay, let's jump right in and explore the video. Chinese President Xi Jinping has arrived in the United States for his first visit in six years, after U.S. President Joe Biden said his goal in their bilateral talks this week was to restore normal communications with Beijing, including military-to-military -military contacts. Xi is due to meet Biden near San Francisco on Wednesday morning U.S. time, before attending the annual summit of the 21-member Asia. Pacific Economic Cooperation (APEC) grouping. The summit will be their first face-to-face -face meeting in a year and follows months of high-level meetings to prepare the ground after tensions between the two countries spiked over issues from trade to human rights and the pandemic. Speaking ahead of his departure, Biden said his goal was simply to improve the bilateral relationship. We're not trying to decouple from China. What we're trying to do is change the relationship for the better," Biden told reporters at the White House before heading to San Francisco. Asked what he hoped to achieve at the meeting, he said he wanted to get back on a normal course of corresponding. Being able to pick up the phone and talk to one another if there's a crisis. Being able to make sure our militaries still have contact with one another," she waved from the door of his Air China plane before walking down the steps to meet U.S. officials, including Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and U.S. Ambassador to China Nicholas Burns, who were waiting on the tarmac. He is on his first visit to U.S. since 2017 when he met then-President Donald Trump, China which regularly talks about, red lines, on issues. Such as the self-ruled island Taiwan, which it claims as its own and its expansive claims in the South China Sea, has been more circumspect about its expectations for the summit. A spokesman for China's foreign ministry mentioned only in-depth communication and major issues concerning world peace, when asked about the meeting this week. Nevertheless, analysts said the very fact the talks were taking place was significant. The importance of the much-expected meeting between President Biden and President Xi in San Francisco cannot be understated, no matter the likely shallowness of the outcomes. Alicia Garcia Herrero of Investment Banking Group. Natixis wrote in an analysis ahead of the summit. On Tuesday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken told APEC ministers that the U.S. believed in a region where economies are free to choose their own path, where goods, ideas, people flow lawfully and freely. Blinken did not mention China by name, but his language echoed U.S. rhetoric in recent years in which Washington has accused China of bullying smaller countries in the Asia-Pacific and trying to undermine what the U.S. and its allies call the rules-based, international order. Thank you.